Hi, how are you? Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we'll be talking about Woodwind Wave, the upcoming new gacha game of 2024, most likely. And I'll be honest, from everything I've seen about Woodwind Wave and what the game about, I am extremely excited for it. Unlike Zenless Zone Zero, Wooden Wave will also be the next game I also be playing on the channel. So I just want to sit here for a little bit and just talk about why I think Wooden Wave is gonna be such a good game and not like a tower fantasy situation. But before I continue onward, you've got five seconds to subscribe. Why? Because Kushball said so. Alright, so what is Wooden Wave exactly? Because for one, there's so much hype around it. It's a post-apocalyptic open world game that you can explore with gotcha aspects as well, where you pull characters similar to Genshin Impact. And there are a lot of interesting stuff about Wooden Wave, like for one, with a high skill cap, the way you can't just get away with button mashing, so where you have to do perfect dodges, avoid enemy attack. But one thing about it, since it's a gotcha game, you would think you have to send money but no this game is a pure skill and basically you can basically beat the game with the standard characters which is very nice and then obviously if you have like five stars it can make it easier but at the same time it's not needed but also i think the most interesting thing about wooden weight the fact that every enemy you face and defeat you can actually turn into or more like they can help you assist you which for me is honestly so exciting because for when i looked at some of these designs and there is a lot of peak designs like they just look amazing like with a story i don't really have an idea on the story as yet like i think i would like it because i'm a very simple person and i don't really ask for much but one thing i'm really excited for more likely i'm gonna be more into it the combat because after playing genshin impact for like three years now like playing wooden wave is just gonna be like refreshing for me and i'm really looking forward to wooden wave to a point where i reinstall pgr back on my phone and yeah i enjoying it very much especially for like the harder content like when I get my ass handed to me, I don't really get as mad as when I get mad at BS mechanics in Genshin Impact where all the bosses run from you. Have massive HP pools, freaking take as hell just for the sake of stalling time. No interesting thing, they're no interesting mechanic, they're just stalling you. So playing PGR again was pretty nice and really got me more hype for wooden waves. But do I think it's gonna be a Genshin killer? <laughs> no. Like there is no chance wooden wave gonna be a Genshin killer but at the same time I do believe Wooden Wave is gonna coincide with Genshin Impact because for all the players that kinda got cocked over by Big D Mahoyo by not adding any long term system to do no end game no challenging content the people that want that from Genshin Impact are not gonna get it from Genshin Impact can get it from wooden wave which is honestly a good thing because one if you just want to play casual and just want to collect characters go around to exploration you can just play genshin but the people that want to explore but also want hard content can just play wooden wave once it's released but one thing i do not believe that gonna happen the fact that wooden wave is not gonna be like a tower fantasy situation because tower fantasy legit market itself as a genshin killer believe it or not and then it dropped and had like one of the worst releases ever and basically no one really talks about the game again but i think for wooden wave they're gonna be completely different especially if they make do on their promises they said on the dev interview then yes for sure they have so much potential and honestly i'm very excited especially the fact that it probably might come out very very soon and yeah that's about it because with all that said i think that everything i want to talk about for today's video so thanks for watching i do appreciate you for sure let me know what i should do next and let me know what you guys think what i have to say you agree with me or you disagree let me know down below because at the end of the day i'm not gonna kill you meh i probably might kill you but at the same time still comment anyways because i love that stuff but anyway final thought is honestly i am very excited for what anyways i think this game has so much potential because for one if this game is a success it should if you have enough passion even though it might be an indie game or a big company if you did put time and effort into a game the product that people like people will play it and people will enjoy it but that's just an opinion my opinion <laughs> and yeah that's about it 
make sure to subscribe to my channel because i post daily videos every single day and also follow me on twitter or x or whatever the hell you want to call it and with all that said take care love you guys and i'll see you on the next video goodbye